Are you a stay-at-home parent looking to enter the workforce, particularly in the cybersecurity industry, but a little overwhelmed by where to start or if your skills that you've developed when you were working before you became a parent are still relevant and applicable? In this episode, we are talking with Stevie Bird, who was a stay-at-home parent, and after completing that amazing mission, made the pivot and transfer into cybersecurity. We're going to be talking with her about why she wanted to move into cybersecurity specifically, what challenges she faced on that road in there, what skills she picked up as a stay-at-home parent that are absolutely transferable and applicable in the cybersecurity industry today, and the lessons learned that you can take advantage of in order to pivot from stay-at-home parent to cyber. Let's go. Hi, Stevie. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. So, Stevie, first question off, you know, obviously, congratulations on the family. Congratulations on the cyber security career. Why did you want to move into cybersecurity? Yeah, so burnout is real even as a parent and I found myself wanting a change. I'm obviously still a parent. Like I just felt like it needed to change a little bit. I wanted a challenge. I always have loved technical things, computers, and I wanted something that would involve continuous learning because I love to learn new things um, all the time. And while I was kind of exploring career options, I found a local cybersecurity meetup. And after attending that event, I just, I knew this was the space I wanted to be in. That's awesome. Yeah. I love taking advantage of those local meetups and actually kind of exploring different options and of just going all in on cybersecurity. That's awesome. So what type of challenges did you face in making that transition? I think the biggest challenge was knowing where to start. There's a lot of possible paths. There's degrees, boot camps, certification, you know, researching. I saw all these different answers and thought, I don't know what's best for me. And I ended up getting the advice of someone who has quite a few years of experience in InfoSec. And that was a huge help for me. I was able to share kind of where I was at and get some good advice. And I ended up starting with some specific certifications that gave me a really good foundation and starting point. One more big challenge that I found was mm -hmm. gaining experience. I think it's the chicken and egg question, right? You need experience to get a job, but you need a job to get experience. And some of the biggest things that helped me um, were figuring out ways to gain hands-on experience, even while I didn't have a job, right? So. For me, my husband owns a business, so I tried to find ways to apply the security concepts I was learning about within his business. And I created a home lab, which sounds intimidating, but it's actually, there's a lot of things you can do on your computer that can get you some good experience. There's free capture the flags you can participate in. You can install virtual machines, lots of things you can do with it. And so that was a big help for that challenge of gaining experience. Yeah, that's definitely a great concept of, you know, the chicken and the egg, the catch 22 and doing the home labs. I, I love that you are basically looking for opportunities to apply cybersecurity practices and helping a small business or doing in, in-house lab stuff. Definitely a great opportunity. What, what type of role do you do in cybersecurity specifically? And is that the role that you were kind of turned on to by this mentor? Yeah, so I'm a security analyst in a, an internal security operations center, and it's exactly what I was working for. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. So as a stay-at-home parent, what skills did you develop in that role that were completely transferable into the cybersecurity uh, work that you do now? There are a lot. If you think about all the things a stay-at-home parent does from managing schedules and rides and meals and homework and helping teenagers navigate friendships and school and college applications, and there's just a ton of things. And some of the major skills in, in there, I think planning and prioritizing, mentoring, problem solving, crisis management, if you've ever helped a tried to convince a six-year-old that it's okay to wear a different sweatshirt to school when her favorite one is in the wash. Communication, time management. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, organization, uh, no doubt, and prioritization is, is critical when you have a million different alerts or a million different things going on, deciding where to spend that effort and those resources. Also, I can imagine speaking to different audiences, right? Speaking to a teenager versus speaking to a six-year-old, uh, two, two totally different things. And I don't have teenagers myself, but I can only imagine that when they, my kids become teenagers, the terms that they're using, what you know, like the way that they're speaking will be something I'll have to develop uh, myself as well. So Stevie, you know, if you could go back and do it differently or 
um, you know, kind of have a more optimal path. What what type of lessons did you learn that you would want to share with someone who's about to embark on this pivot from stay at home parent into a cybersecurity role? I think there are two big lessons learned that I, as I was thinking about this, the first one is networking is a skill worth building. It totally didn't come naturally to me. I avoided it at first. I didn't understand its value and it was scary to like meet new people, introduce myself. It made me really nervous. And I think as I realized how important it was and I pushed through my comfort zone, attending local events, introducing myself to people cold calls. I think um, I found lots of colleagues, friends, and mentors who have been a great source of opportunities and growth. So networking is a huge one. And the second big lesson learned for me is I don't think it's just about breaking in. Once you get that first security job, there's still a whole world of opportunity in front of you. And so figuring out how to how to continually grow and progress in your career is just as important. And so I think being prepared to keep that momentum going once you get that first job is also something that is a big lesson that I learned. So true. Yeah. That's one of the things with cybersecurity too, is you've got to keep going and you know, some people like it, some people don't like it, but it is a lifestyle and it's a lot of work, but uh, I find it's definitely rewarding and it sounds like you enjoy it uh, also. All right. Well, Stevie, thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate your opportunity. You're going to help a lot of stay at home parents out there. Uh, Stevie did mention networking. I do want to say if you're looking for an opportunity to network, the Simply Cyber Discord server is a really great platform in order to network with like-minded cybersecurity professionals and people looking to break in. And obviously on LinkedIn is another great uh, platform for networking and communication. Stevie, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.